Hi, welcome to my channel Cloud with Girish. In this video, I'm going to show you how to develop AWS Lambda function locally with SAM CLI, Docker, Python, and VS Code. Since this is a developer workshop, I assume you already have VS Code, Python, SAM CLI, Docker, and AWS toolkit extension installed. We need all these software tools to develop Lambda locally. Once developed, I will build and invoke Lambda function locally using VS Code terminal and SAM commands. I will then add few debug points and will trigger the debugger to initiate the debugging. I will use a sample event request JSON to pass the parameter required for Lambda function. Once function is developed, built and validated, it can be then deployed to AWS cloud using the deploy command, which will be part of part two of this workshop. I have this workshop in three parts. In part one, I will demonstrate how to develop and debug Lambda function locally using VS Code and AWS SAM. In part two, I will use AWS SAM to deploy the function in AWS Cloud and create an API endpoint using AWS Console. In part three, entire tech stack will be created using AWS SAM. We'll create a function, create an API endpoint, we'll test the API endpoint locally, and then I will deploy it in AWS Cloud using SAM deploy. Let's look at the architecture pattern for part one and part two of this workshop. As you can see in this architecture design, I'm creating a Lambda function using AWS SAM. The function will be using a Python dictionary to return the response for the requested function. In part two, in addition to the Lambda function and Python dictionary, I'm creating an API endpoint using the console. This API endpoint is integrated with the Lambda function and will return the response from the dictionary in a JSON format. In part three of this architecture pattern, I will be creating the entire tech stack using AWS SAM, API endpoint, Lambda function, everything will be created using AWS SAM CLI. As you can see in this architecture design, while I'm creating the Lambda function and API endpoint using AWS SAM, there are various other technology will be used, like cloud formation, API gateway, will be using Boto3 library for Python, CloudWatch, to monitor the log for the response and request that we will be passing through Lambda function. Before you start with the workshop, I recommend that you know your budget and watch your cost. Set up your budget uh, and then familiarize yourself with Cost Explorer. As you will see, I have my AWS budget configured. And then by using the AWS Cost Explorer, I can also monitor my cost. AWS serverless application model, which is AWS SAM, uh, it provides you three ways to get started with the SAM. There is a command line SAM in it. There is a AWS toolkit for VS Code, and then there is a template.yaml. 
in this workshop i will show you how to use aws toolkit for a quick demo and then also we will build a sam app uh, and a template yaml file from scratch again a recap uh, step to set up environment uh, you need to install vs code install aws toolkit get the docker you need to install sam cli here are the commands that you can use uh, to install this sam cli if you don't already have it installed and install python quick demo in vs code navigate to aws toolkit right click on lambda function Select Python 3.10. You can select any language of your choice that's supported by uh, AWS uh, SAM. I'm using Python, hence I'm selecting uh, Python uh, 3.10. Uh, you will see many different templates that AWS Toolkit provides. Uh, select AWS SAM Hello World. Select a folder to save your code and then name your app. An app will be created. Open the app folder and look at few files. Three main files to look at are event.json, template.yaml, and app.py. App.py is the actual code that has your function handler template.yaml has the sam configuration event json is the sample event request in order to test this sample created for you i will build the sample application by using the command sam build. I will then invoke the function locally using the command sam local invoke. I'll review the output. At this point, I can make the changes to the function, build it again using sam build, and run again using the sam local invoke function. Once the output looks good. I can then invoke it as an API locally by using the command sam local start API. I'll get an endpoint and I can use that endpoint either in a browser or I can use a tool like Postman to validate the endpoint. Let's see it in action. I have started my VS code. Let's click on AWS Toolkit, find our Lambda, right click, create Lambda SAM application. Select a SAM application runtime. I'm going to select Python. I'm going to select a template, AWS SAM Hello World. Select a folder to save the code. I'm going to call it. Let's just create under Sam. I'm going to take the default name here. Let's press enter. Creating the function. I'm going to close. Each window, let's go to our folder. We're gonna open the folder where we have saved this function. Have it uh, right here. We got this function created.
let's look at a couple of files we should have a template.yaml this is our aws sam template to create this hello function we should have a app pi this is the function that returns hello world and then we have a sample event uh, created for us sample json let's open our terminal we're going to build this app by running the sam build command as you can see it building the application we're going to use the sam local invoke command let's find the function name so our function name is hello world function let's pass the event is under events folder event json is invoking the function and as you can see we got the hello world uh, function returned we can update this function uh, we can say hello greech save it build the function let's invoke it again and we have hello greech we can invoke the function using the api endpoint let's use our command sam local start api we have a local host api endpoint let's follow this link we got the response from the function hello girish now that we have completed a sample sam application using vs code and aws toolkit let's uh, look at another example where we will create a template.yaml that hold the sam code from the scratch we will create a source and event folder we'll create a lambda function we're going to create a template yaml we're going to create an event json for sample payload we will use the sam build command and then sam local invoke to invoke the function here is the lambda function it's written in python um i like the python so i'm using it you can use any language of your choice that's supported by aws and uh, lambda this function is pretty straightforward i'm importing some uh, json library some logging creating a logger instance um, i have a standard lambda, lambda handler function here which takes event and context as a parameter um, state code i'm getting it from the query string parameter and then we using this state code in the function in a state dictionary to retrieve the state name it's a partial code i will post the full source code in a git repo here is the template uh, yaml file first two lines are pretty standard these will be part of like every sam template uh, aws template format version and transform next section uh, is the global section and then there is a resource section resources is where you define all the resources the function the api the dynamo db etc uh, i'm defining here as a function it's get state function there are property of that function the runtime the function name and the timeout here is the event json very simple uh, payload uh, passing a, a state abbreviation a state code and then i'm going to use sam build and local invoke command uh, here is the syntax of that command uh, and the output i'm expecting is that the state name is ohio 
then I will add some debug uh, points to debug the function locally. Um, let's see it in action. Okay, I am in my VS code. Let's look at the function. Here is the Python function uh, taking the parameter of uh, state code, returning a state name in the response. Here is the template uh, YAML. Uh, again, it's defining the function and the function name timeout. Here is the event JSON that had a state code. Um, let's build it using sam build command. It's successfully built. Next, we're gonna use sam local invoke with the function name. Let's look at our function name is get state fn. Let's pass the event JSON and look for the response. You will see error running AWS SAM project. Okay, it's asking for uh, Docker. Um, Docker is the underlying technology. Docker must be running in order for us to use the SAM to develop and test the Lambda function locally. So it's running now. Let's give it another try. SAM local invoke is invoking the Lambda function. And here is the execution. We are getting the state name back in the response. If we change our parameter value, let's change it to OH, save it, build it, and let's invoke it again. Then, as you can see, we're getting a response. Um, as expected lambda function develop locally what's next next i will deploy it using sam sam usage cloud formation s3 bucket is created for the artifact and a sam config file is created here is a aws sam command reference with few command the build command local invoke sam local start api deploy command and sam delete command AWS services used so far, AWS budget, AWS cost explorer, AWS SAM, AWS Lambda. While I have not used AWS S3, AWS CloudFormation, and AWS IAM explicitly, these services get used by AWS SAM framework under the hood. With this workshop, developing and testing Lambda function locally has been successfully completed. In the next video, I will demonstrate how to deploy this function using AWS SAM. Once deployed to AWS Cloud, I will then test the function using AWS Console and will create an API endpoint to invoke the function. Hope you enjoy this tutorial. I'm working on some other interesting content on various AWS topics. These will be posted soon. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.